we have to talk about the variance of the residuals because it's important to know whether or not they are varying more or less based on the the value of the x variable so for example for example we have a a regression here the y hat and here you see that the 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 residuals they are basically basically equal no matter which which value of of x or which level of x you are looking at the dispersion here is is basically the same so you you, you might think of, of of this as a as uh, just just making like these these uh, uh, distributions normal distributions around the 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 regression line the sample regression line and and these these distribution would be equally wide okay the variance would be equal so this would be the homo homoscedastic case and the hetero heteroscedastic case would be a case where the the variance of the residuals would would be let's see why had this is the sample regression line would be dependent on on the level of uh, of the the independent variable so here you see that that it's like it's it's fanning out which means that it's it's uh, 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 the the variance or the dispersion of the the residuals around the the sample regression line is is larger for these for these uh, 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 for values for high values of, of of x and they are low for for uh, low values of, of of x so um so what you say is that uh, if if the the error term is 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 equal equally dispersed around the regression line no matter which x you look at you have homoscedasticity and if if the the dispersion of the residuals around the uh, the uh, the uh, sample regression line uh, is dependent on on the the level of x then you have heteroscedasticity so so what it really means is that uh, if if we look at this this example, uh, we have uh, wages on schooling. So we are trying to predict the level of wages for people based on how many years of schooling they have. Okay, have gone through. So so uh, what we can see is that the the variance the variance of of uh, the residuals given the level of schooling is equal to the variance of the wages minus the 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 uh, expected expected uh, wages given schooling okay because this here is just the the expect uh, the 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 expected wages given schooling given the number of schooling uh, years of schooling 
this is just the 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 sampler regression line, right? It's equal to the variance of wages given schooling. So, what does that mean? It really means that that if you have wages up here and schooling here, then then you have the the regression line the y hat or not the y hat it's the it's the wages hat okay okay so so here you have the the sampler regression line and you see that the 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 um, residuals the residuals are around the 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 uh, the regression line and no matter which level of schooling you you look at you have the you can you can kind of look at the dispersion the dispersion of 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 the wages around the the uh, modeled wages the 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 regression line this this variance should be equal to should be equal to the residuals okay and schooling over here then you see that that the residuals they are just as dispersed as as the the residuals around the the um, regression line so so these residuals are really just wages minus the uh, the value of the regression line right so the dispersion is is equal it's just the the data points are are just shifted right so that's that's the intuition behind this and what you notice is that if if the the residuals are uh homoscedastic then 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 both uh the variance of the residuals given the level of of schooling and the the variance of the wages given the level of schooling they are constant because they they are equal right and um homoscedasticity would imply that uh, the variance of wages given schooling is the same for all schooling levels okay so <clears throat> It, uh, homoscedasticity would mean that that no matter uh, how many years of schooling we are looking at, uh, then uh, the 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 dispersion of of the residuals would be uh, equal. We we would have a constant a constant variance uh, in the residuals. Um, however, however, it's it's really not um, realistic in our setup that we would expect um, homoscedasticity because the more education you have the more opportunities you have to, to choose your own career um, either some career which which pays very well or, or or not so you would probably see some more dispersion of of um, of the the residuals uh, for higher uh, numbers or higher levels of of education, and the way we could model that would be to to do like this, like have then we would probably see something like this you have more more dispersion 
uh, for, for higher levels of schooling than for low level of, levels of schooling. And, and you would see that both in the, the schooling on or wages on schooling uh, plot, but also in the residual plot here as such. So this would be a typical uh, plot of, of uh, heteroscedastic um, um, uh, uh, data, okay, um, and and in sum, um, uh, or as a conclusion, um, you would then, if you see this the, this pattern, you would definitely need to use um, so-called uh, hack uh, errors or hack standard errors, which is um, heteroscedistic um, uh, uh, robust uh, errors. And, and what, you, what you do is that, um, well, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. The reason why, why you care about that is the, the if, if the l three least squares assumptions, uh, which we mentioned in a previous video, hold, and the residuals are homoscedastic, then the OLS estimates of, of the intercept and the slopes, um, they are so-called blue, best linear unbiased uh, estimates. Uh, best would mean that they have the lowest uh, lowest um, standard errors possible and unbiased would mean that uh, if you redid the uh, the analysis like taking samples do the analysis and then take samples again do the analysis then on average you would um, you would um, get get uh, better hats like sample intercept and sample uh, slopes um, dispersed around the 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 true value of of the the population um, uh, slope and the population intercept and that it's it's among the the linear models linear in the coefficients as we mentioned in in one of the video and this is called the gauss markov theorem so heteroscedisticity and homoscedisticity have implications for for cal calculating the the standard errors uh, because if if you have heteroscedistic um, uh, data, uh, then if you run your regression, then um, for for parts of 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 your data, you would actually have a a a a standard uh, standard error which is too small. So you would actually be um, be be more confident in your model than the model um, than you should okay so so you would be led to believe that you have a very very good model even if if you might not have a good model so what what can we do well well what we can do is is to use heteroscedisticity robust standard errors <coughs> and instead of you just use the the robust option when you when you run a regression and it's actually uh, uh, advisable or or just prac practical to to um, uh, to to run the 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 robust standard errors uh, every single time you you um, run 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 a regression because if if the 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 uh, the uh, re um, if the uh, the um, residuals are homoscedastic like this then 
what you use is is uh, ordinary standard errors or robust standard errors then then either way you would have a a valid hypothesis test okay no matter if if you use the the robust standard errors or the the ordinary standard errors you will have a a, a valid hypothesis test and valid confidence intervals however if if the residuals are actually heteroscedastic then if you use the ordinary standard errors when you perform the the regression then the the hypothesis test and the confidence interval would be would be invalid however if if you have heteroscedastic data uh, then then and you use the the robust standard errors then 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 you still have valid hypothesis test and confidence intervals so so the the robust standard errors will give you standard errors which you can uh, use in in either case